The Mona Lisa is at last decoded. Wait for it. The Mona Lisa is split into two different half faces. Leonardo da Vinci's and Sa lies. Because Li Sa is Leonardo and Sa Lai. Just like the first two letters of their names. Sarai was Da Vinci's lover, model and pupil for almost 28 years. It's a well-known fact that Da Vinci signed both as Leonardo and as Leonardo. Here is, for example, Leonardo Da Vinci's signature on the Vitruvian Man and here is Codex Urbinas by Leonardo Da Vinci. Furthermore, Vasari, the most reliable historian of the Renaissance, calls him only Leonardo. To return to the Mona Lisa, try to compare the two different half faces with each other. Is this Mona Lisa's face or is it this? This or this? Da Vinci's San Baptist painting is also split into two different half faces. Try to compare them to each other. Face one, face two, one self, second self. Leonardo Salai. The first proof out of 18 that Leonardo and Salai left behind for us is found in the Mona Vanya, Salai's self-portrait, because the two left half faces of the Mona Lisa and the Mona Vanya are identical. Feel free to pause and compare. Therefore, Salai is for sure Mona Lisa's left half face. And the other half face is of Leonardo da Vinci because he named her Lisa. As Leonardo writes poetically, don't reveal, if you love freedom, that my face is the prison of love. His face is the prison of love between him and Salai. Don't reveal it because their freedom is at stake in those times which outlaw erotic relationships between two males. Love forever, even if they lose their freedom. And when Leonardo depicts the anatomy of the human skull, he also splits it into half and both of its sides are clearly of a different type, just like in the Mona Lisa. The decoding of the Mona Lisa was always right in front of us. Unbelievable! As with her eyes, in the Mona Lisa famous smile, the right side of her lips is straight and serious, and we can see here where that stops, while the left side is obviously smiling. And that's why we find it enigmatic. And this is Leonardo by Leonardo. At last, we now know how Da Vinci really looked like and by his own hand. And that is why Mona Lisa is Leonardo and Salai united forever thanks to Da Vinci's magic. And if you look deeper behind his paintings, Da Vinci hid an incredible secret. Like the Mona Lisa, so are we split anatomically into two different halves. To prove it, simply compare your two half faces and two half bodies as we did with the Mona Lisa. For example, can you recognize him? Who is he? Do you recognize him now? It's of course J.F. Kennedy. That's how different our two half faces are, like two different people. His left side looks worried, while his right side is very confident. His left chin looks a bit chubby, while his right chin is thin. His left face is unknown, while his right one is pretty famous. Please comment on how you reacted when you first saw your two half faces. Same goes for our two different half bodies. This left half body is hard as stone, while its right one definitely has more meat. Also, the nipples are at a different height and the abdominals naturally create different shapes even though they belong to the same slim person. Just like in the Vitruvian Man by Leonardo. Since we're split into two different half bodies, does that mean that we all have two personalities? How can we prove scientifically that we all have two personalities? But that's why we all have A. Two different DNA helixes B. Two different brain hemispheres and C. Two very different chromosomes at each couple. It actually never is XX. It's always two different chromosomes united in one, just like us. The most important thing is that you cannot ignore the new anatomical facts that I've just showed you because we can now even see our other half self with our eyes and our microscopes. The goal is to fully understand them. Another proof is that we can't have internal conflicts if we're just one personality. Otherwise, who are we fighting with internally? 
All this is explained in the novel thoroughly. Therefore, our two different personalities may also be the foundation stone of psychology in order to become a science, since this is the first time that we learned any natural law about our inner world, meaning that the anatomy of the Mona Lisa is exactly like our inner world. We couldn't have two different half-faces, but just one personality. It's obviously a division which occurs from the beginning of our creation to its end, and that's why we can see it even in our faces. Unbelievable, right? To me, this is evidently a defining moment for psychology, anatomy, neurology, AI, genetics, biology, marketing, cosmology, and of course, the arts. One must now split everything in two different sides, united in one, just like in the Mona Lisa. Please share in the video's comment section what you make of this insanely groundbreaking and self-evident theory. I don't think that it's a coincidence that all major search engines have run this theory first when one searches for Mona Lisa decoding or decoded. Furthermore, did you ever wonder why they built the hugest face in the history of mankind? Well, yes, the Great Sphinx of Giza is also split into two definitely different half-faces, meaning that even the ancient Egyptians knew about our two anatomically different half-sides 4,500 years ago. Trippy, right? Makes you wonder what other unbelievable knowledge is buried in our history. Let me proudly repeat, they knew 4,500 years ago what we today didn't have a clue about. Are we really the modern age? Also, the Terence Shroud is definitely not an artwork, since it's also split into two very different half-faces. Awesome, right? And this is just the beginning. This is the key for the epic adventure of rediscovering the world. For example, is this the secret in order to find our balance, silencing at last our internal conflicts? Can that really happen? A coming-of-age historical fiction novel where one decodes the whole world in order to find his place and balance and then explains how to awaken your third and cosmic eye. By Philippos Marinakis, The Revelation of Mona Lisa, A Guide to Wisdom based on 4,500 manuscripts by Da Vinci with 350 explained artworks as part of the dreaming plot. Please like, share, comment, or subscribe. Aren't you curious of what your friends make of this theory? And if you want me to go deeper at any aforementioned subject, let me know in the comments. Have a great day! To watch the full version of Mona Lisa's decoding with 18 irrefutable proofs, click over there.